Morning everybody, Jason Hollis Falls. Oh, Cody wanted to go by himself this morning, so he just had jumped on the golf cart and he's headed out to his spot. And I'm fixing to head down here to a spot and listen where uh, I hadn't listened all year. Try something a little different. We'll see what happens. Maybe Cody will have some good luck. I told him if he wasn't hearing nothing and I happened to hear something, he's going to jump on the golf cart and come back up here with me. So we'll see what happens. Alright, I have heard one turkey. He's gobbled four or five times and he's so far. I can't tell exactly where he's at. So it's going to be a pretty morning though. I've heard two turkeys. One of them is hammering, but he ain't on us, and the other one ain't either. Cody says he thinks he heard one up there. I'm waiting to hear back from him. Half one over here is choking it. But he is a long way away. I can hear a long way up here. All right, so Cody made it out, said he had heard one, said he wouldn't act right, and then uh, I heard that one that was way off. I didn't ever go to him. I'm going to study on him, see if I can't get him, him called across. But anyway, I'm fixing to go see if I can find me a mid-morning mid, mid -morning turkey. All right, here we go. Let's go see if we can find us a little sign or a mid-morning bird or someplace to start in the morning or something. Go find something. Alright, so the sun's popped back out. Wind's gotten up, so I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna call here in just a second, but then I'm gonna try to drop off down in the bottom where I can hear better, hopefully. Let's check him again.
coming or he's sitting with some hands. He may just come in here quiet. We better be ready. All right, he just gobbled. He's getting a lot closer. We're just going to sit here and be quiet a minute. So I just heard him gobble. I'm almost 100% sure. I heard him drum, and instead of coming around down the road, he cut the corner, come up a little ridge, I think. <laughs> He's still gobbling a little bit. We'll see if he'll say something else. And it may be two of them, like I was thinking that while ago. I'm not sure yet. I've been sitting here for close to an hour. He ought to have been here by now, but he's coming. Alright, so I walked by a camera on the way in here. And where I, I thought they'd heard that turkey drumming and cutting the corner coming by me. A few minutes ago, I got a picture of two ends. So I bet when he got up with a time or two, and then they come by and he was drumming, I bet he got with them. makes a loop. I'm fixing to make a loop kind of the opposite way. I think he's going and get down below him. See if we can get him to gobble again. Alright, so here's what I did. I slipped all the way around where he first gobbled. And I'm hoping he makes him a loop. I'm going to let this wind lay a little bit and we're going to call to him and just see. We might mess with him a little bit. I think he likes it right down in here pretty good. Boy, we had a super midday hunt this morning, or just a while ago. I thought we was finna pull that thing off. That might be a good place to start in the morning.
and cane and a turkey just gobbled. I think he's getting closer, so we got to, I don't know. I think I'm in a good spot. If he gobbles again, I may have to move. We'll see. Hey, right, so I heard a turkey gobble the other morning. Somewhere back in here where I'm headed. I got to go through a bunch of wet stuff. Come up on some open hardwood. See if I can ease in here. Have us a little afternoon hunt. Hadn't been in here in a while. Might get lucky. Alright y'all, so we had another big rain last night, so I'm trying to, these turkeys is driving me crazy this year with all these jakes. I hate to keep talking about it, but it's just, it's going to be that way. Oh, I've got a picture before, I've hunted this turkey, I'm going to go out to this morning one time, and he didn't gobble. But I, I, every time I have got his picture, it seems like it's right after a rain that he comes to this field. I ain't, I ain't heard the turkey gobble yet, I just got a picture of him, so... I think that's what I'm gonna do is just ease on in here and maybe, I don't know, maybe he'll gobble us. <laughs> God, they're, uh, last time I went and hunted him, I got a picture of him two, two or three days before that and then I went after him and then I got a couple of, a picture of a couple of big old jakes. So I think they got him on lockdown, but maybe if uh, he does the same thing he did that one time, he'll, I'm out here after this rain and shake off. I don't know. That's all I know to do is just keep pecking around and trying. It's crazy. But we ain't gonna quit. All right, y'all, so sometimes the struggle, the struggle is real. 
Oh, man, we chasing them. They whooping on us, but it's going to be like that sometimes. If I was traveling or something like that, I'd lean on them a little bit harder, but I know we're going to be there all season. No big deal, so <clears throat> we just kind of... I want a good hunt is what I like to get. Uh, the one we got the other day, it was a good hunt but i want a my good what i mean by wanting a good hunt is a lot of good gobbling i want to get some good footage but anyway just like that turkey this morning i know there's one there and he ain't said a word and i, I peeped up i had me a good hide there and I, I was cutting my eyes cutting my eyes and i saw a turkey coming down the <clears throat> down that field and i said what well, I, I believe that's a hen just the way it was carrying itself i thought and then i I was cut, sun was coming up, and I was just kind of cutting my eyes because I wanted to point this way, but thought they'd come from the other way. And uh, I just happened to glance one time, and I saw that bee. I said, whoa. I said, that's a hen. I got a bee. That's about the third or fourth hen I've seen with a beard. That sucker there had about a 10-inch beard, long-bearded hen. But anyway, we're going to keep after him, but I ain't heard a bird this morning. I, I wasn't close to all them others that I've been hearing. Man, I know that one's there, but he ain't said a word. Hey, them Jake's got them shut down. But anyway, that's part of it. All right, so not a lot of footage, but we're going to put something together. Let's uh, let's get to today's Bible verse. Still on the word anger, Colossians chapter 3, verse 8. But now you also put them all aside. Anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive speech from your mouth. All right, y'all, so all I know to do is keep hammering at them. I'm just glad I get to go every day, and that's why I don't uh, just get too crazy with them. When the time's right, it'll be right, and we're just going to keep, uh, keep playing with them. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.